Hey guys, in the truth section of the book, chapter 10, is getting angry God's way. You know, this is, I think, a really critical chapter for a lot of men because anger can be something they're very well aware of or sometimes not aware of at all, for, but, but we have all deal with it on some level, I think, as guys. And so this is a really uh, critical chapter to make sure we deal with this and understand it because anger can be a huge issue for so many men. Um, here's a few principles to make sure that we cover. Um, Number one is just understanding Ephesians 4, 26 and 27 and the real difference in biblical anger and sin because the fact that that's even distinguished in the Bible is really, really important. Most of us don't even understand there is a difference, but there is, and so that's really critical. Number two is just understanding and defining bitterness, rage, and anger and really understanding those are separate things and how we morph from one into the other. Number three is this concept that the Lord's given me of just this self-centered progression of anger and moving from anger to grudge to bitterness to hatred and then seeing the differences in those things and how can we know we're in a stage and this has been very revealing to a lot of guys over the years as I've taught and shared this and been very helpful to getting free from anger. Number four is contrasting anger to compassion, rage to kindness and bitterness to forgiveness and with impulse teaching. And the last one, number five, is just really honing in on this God-centered progression of anger. Anger to resolve to forgiveness to love. So understanding that, that sin and God, and self-centered and God, starts with anger. But when we move to resolve, that can change everything. It's really, really critical to understanding what we can do with anger uh, to be a man of truth. Here's the discussion questions for chapter 10. Number one, read and discuss Ephesians 4, 26 to 27, and specifically the difference between anger as an emotion and a sin. Question number two, why do you think so many men struggle with anger, especially having a bad temper? Question number three, talk about the connection between anger, bitterness, and rage. Question number four, share a circumstance where you really feel like you dealt with a righteous anger, the, the biblical kind that Paul talked about. Question number five, talk through the self-centered progression of anger. Talk through the steps and the stages. Question number six, where is your greatest area of struggle? Is it is it grudge, bitterness, or hatred? Talk through that, and where do you see yourself in any situation? Question number seven. Talk through the God-centered progression of anger to be sure you understand it. Question number eight. Discuss the connection of anger to compassion rage to kindness and bitterness to forgiveness that's found on pages 123 and 124. Question number nine. How can you implement biblical resolve into your group meetings as you confess and deal with situations? So if you're going to all commit to when I get angry about something, I'm going to make sure that I, if I don't let it go quickly, that I work toward resolve. How can you become regular at talking about anger and talking about the need for resolve and being accountable about that in your group. Last and final question, number 10. Share any current situation where you need to move from self-centered to God-centered anger. Question 